All right, folks, we are ready to go with the next run of the event here. It is The Sims 2 Castaway by Cheeky Chunk. Woo! Hello. Hello. Guys, welcome in. Uh, my name is Cheeky Chunk. We're we'll going to be doing some Sims 2 Castaway. And just to be clear, that's Sims 2, like, the number 2 Castaway. Not like Sims 2 Castaway, like Castaway's a place. It's a, it's a spin-off of The Sims 2. It's, yeah, it's like The Sims 2, but they uh, they cast away. Well, actually, I need to be a, the gamer guy. We're going to randomize them, see what we get. Oh, I like it. I like it. We're going to be getting the ranger skill. Uh, you can choose what your occupation is going to be beforehand. Ranger is just faster. Ranger, well, yeah, he gets he gets some, uh, he gets some perks and skills. Um, and then we're going to name him. Chris? No. Nah. We're going to name him to uh, Manema. <laughs> Jim Manema. <laughs> and. Jim Manema. Jim Manema. Jim Manema. Jim Manema. Jim Manema. Jim Manema. Is he needs to have his uh, personality points set or is that <gasps> just. Oh my. Thank God you're here. <laughs> I totally forgot. So, uh, obviously, for this run, like your, your, your star sign's pretty damn important. Um, we're going to be putting him down to make him active. He's 10 active, 5, si five playful, 10 five nice. 5 playful. Right, and he's a Sagittarius. So let it be known, the most optimal star sign is the centaur. Is, is Sagittarius. Um, yeah, I've, I've got a little bit of nervous energy. I totally forgot to introduce you. <laughs> My name is Cheek Chunk, and I'm with... I am Falco. I'm Lance Corporal Falco. Hello. Hey, uh, why is that, you're probably wondering, why is the runner for Ape Escape 3 and Simpsons Sit and Run later co co commentating this game? More importantly, why is the mod for The Sims 3 and the super mod for The Sims Medieval leaderboard here? Well, I, just them. He, he slid into my DMs and he just started immediately flirting and say, hey, uh, I'd love to uh, I'd love to watch uh, some Castaway of you. Okay. We are... I think we're I think we're ready to go. Jim and uh, Jeff. Uh, Jim and Jeff is going to get the NASA PB. Okay. Okay. Uh no, we don't need to save. <laughs> what's gonna, what's, nah, gonna, nah. what's gonna go wrong? We don't need to save the game. <laughs> Alright. We're so just gonna go. Jim and Emma Jeff, he's uh, in the Pacific in his uh, in his dad's yacht, you know. He, he's doing a little bit of uh, karaoke hey, to an audience of fish. His dad being Jim and Jim and Emma Jeff uh, senior. <laughs> 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 this is Jim and Emma Jeff uh, Jr. And uh, oh, he's trying to fish, but um, oh, it's it's a bit stormy out. Oh my! Oh no! Jim and Jim! Jim. <laughs> oh, he's fallen! Oh no! All right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wonder what's gonna happen to Jim and Jim. I hope he doesn't get cast away. Okay. Oh, he's time's got starting. Cast. Oh my goodness, cool. he's got cast away. All right, we, we gotta we gotta speed run through this. Come on, man. Here he is. Oh, he's Jim and Jim. Jeff has been shipwrecked. <laughs> Quick, let's get some bamboo. No, I don't want to read the tutorial. We, we don't need to read. We, we already know what to do in times like these. Okay, so uh, we're basically going to be going around, gathering stuff, making stuff. I think, honestly, you could say that this was truly the first Minecraft game, honestly. Yes, it, it, it is. Except you know, start on a, you start on a set location instead of just in the middle of nowhere. Oh, true. This is this is some set seed Minecraft uh, 0, 0.00. This is the closest we're going to get to a Minecraft speed run at UKSJ, I think. Well, for for a while maybe. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be collecting just enough material. I'm going to be getting some driftwood. I'm going to be getting some clamshells, and all these all these pieces of the puzzle they will fall into place. Hopefully, pretty soon. They are essential for survival. Yeah, I mean, you can't you can't go anywhere in the world without grabbing some clamshells. Food and sleep? Eh. Oh, okay, okay. A sim might need food and sleep because it's part of his needs. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of the cool thing with this game is that you have like uh, they call them your motives, which is like your your hunger bar, your social bar, your let's party bar. And uh, in this, like over time, you will um, be given them. Oh, I forgot to sleep. Whoops, Daisy. Time to sleep. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of sleeping in this game. Basically, as you explore the island, whenever you're gonna like get to a new location, you're gonna do little, like a little journeying through through the bush or up up a volcano or across the sea. So 
kind of important that before we uh, travel anywhere, we're doing some sleep. Sleep is good. Especially after we've just done our hard work of collecting driftwood and bamboo. And it, it, well, exactly. Clamshells. And we did some upside down, uh, bottoms up, uh, deeper uh, clam fishing. Here we are well, in Jim the jungle. Jim and Ava Jeff is a ranger. He, he's used to this stuff. Jim and Ava Jeff, he's, he's no, uh, he's no uh, baby to the, to the ways of the lands. Oh, we're stuck behind a tree. Who put that tree there? Well, this is why we need climate change. <laughs> Whoa, I, said, I said nothing political. <laughs> Relax. I retract my statement. But uh, I was going to ask, like, growing up, did you ever did you ever play this game? I have played this game growing up. I never finished it. Well, see, that's the thing is, like, yeah, me too. But w when you play Sims games, do you, like, be honest? Do you, like, do you make yourself, you know? Nah. Do you, do you live out your dream life, you know? I don't live out my dream life because I've got no dreams. Oh, bloody <laughs> hell. <laughs> For me, like, yeah. <gasps> oh, oh, monkey. monkey. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Tony Cordados. I know you're not here, but I know you're freeing the monkeys again. I'm going to have to do that. I'm going to have to play Escape Free later. The monkeys are loose in the caboose. <sighs> Tony. Yeah, we're just collecting a lot of vines. I am sadly doing some boring kind of safety strats. Uh, do you want to talk a bit about the RNG that we're going to be facing during the run? Uh, yes, the RNG that we're going to be having to put up with rain RNG for when we're sleeping and earthquakes are a thing that can happen in this game at any point in time just because they feel like it. But what, what's so bad about the rain? The rain? I believe you told me that wakes your sim up early. Yeah. So And they get and they wake up and they get all... Uh, they, they get grumpy. They go, I can't sleep. I'm wet. I'm too wet to sleep. <laughs> All right, don't think too hard about it. But we're going to be cooking. We got six clams. We're going to be eating three of them here, and that will give us enough hunger until we get hungry again. Just cook up a bunch of clam meat. Please, cursor, exist. It's kind of goofy because uh, you can switch between using the nunchuck and what? using the uh, like cursor. And obviously the nunchuck's nicer because it's like beam, bam, beam, boom. But the, the nunchuck is more controlled. Yeah, but then the cursor's like, ah, I exist too. What about me? Hello? Okay, we're going to be getting some... Uh, Move the Wiimote a millimeter and that's what happens. Yeah, it goes, oh, I'm alive. We're going to be getting some banana leaves. Banana leaves. This will be useful for making some roofs later, some shelter, so that if it does rain... We'll be fine. We'll be fine because we have some, uh, some banana leaf shelter. The rain won't hurt us then. I mean, there's definitely some like story to this, but uh, I don't know. Uh, who, who, who cares? We, we, we just need to uh, get through the game as fast as we can. Yeah. You're, like, there's like some cool like crazy bananas, super inflatable arm, uh, wacky. Pick up? He doesn't want to pick up? Hello? Oh my god. I tell you that Jim name of Jeff Jr. is uh he's a real he's a real battle axe. We're making a Oh craft Jeff. Man. It's Minecraft we're crafting. Yes. Holy This moly. really is the first Minecraft game. This is the first Minecraft. Oh I I got worried because they didn't have the materials, but it was uh the wrong thing. Beautiful. We now have our clamshell X. We're gonna have to get some more banana leaves. <coughs> some more banana leaves. And we can harvest them faster. We can harvest them. Mm. A little bit faster. <gasps> I didn't mean to put that in my. Get to the tree. <laughs> the tree. Oh, really, really. Uh, the name of Jeff really is a. Uh, He's trolling. All right. Make sure we take the right, uh, the right exit into the pier. I mean, honestly, with this game, uh, growing up, I used to make, well, especially in all Sims, I'd always make me and my family. Uh, because, well, I had uh, a bit of an older sister who uh, would, at some point, you know, really uh, put me in a headlock and uh, bamboozle me. So it was nice to make her in the Sims so that I could, like, you know, like, make her. 
suffer in this room, <laughs> no ladder. <laughs> Maybe I'm revealing too much. Okay. No, please reveal more. We'll get some palm from. Also, Jeff is getting a little tired. Jeff is getting a little tired. We should be okay. <gasps> Jeff, why are you upset? God's sake, Jeff. What's a little sleep? He's upset because he's tired. He is tired. All right. Well, I hope it doesn't rain. That shouldn't rain. We uh, blessed the game earlier. We did. We did. We, we gave it some uh, good Jim and Jeff Jr. <laughs> uh, <laughs> vibes. But, I mean, yeah. So, I would make my, f my family in Castaway. And uh, the thing was that I had me, my sister, my mom, and my brother... And I remember in the game, my mum passed away. She passed away and cast away. And it was very upsetting for me, because I was like maybe like 10 or something. And the way to bring them back is you need to like get their like tombstone, and you need to like um, get uh, this thing called a blood orange to revive them. And I literally remember going up to my mum, and I was like, Mum, I can't, I don't know where the blood orange is. I'm sorry. It's right in front of you. And she was like, it's, it's okay, darling. <laughs> What's wrong? Mom, you, you died in the game. <laughs> and I keep hearing on the line that if you die in the game, you're going to die in real life. <laughs> Mom, I'm sorry. But uh, no, she's still going strong. So <laughs> guess what I read online was actually uh, a lot of pants. That's a relief. Yeah, we're, well, I think he's trolling right now. So we need to get one more pound from him. Okay, we're looking good. You're gaming good and goodly gaming. We must be gaming. We are hashtag gaming. And I get a hieroglyph. Can you tell me what the hieroglyphs are used for? It's a secret tool that will be used much later in the game. You could you could be a bit more spoiler than that. You could, you could, you could go for it. <laughs> it will help us out later. Oh, whoa. <laughs> wow. <laughs> the plot beckons. Oh, my God, the music. Jeez. Woo. Dung, dung, making some banana leaf shelters in my island beach. Oh, we gotta make them to increase our skill. Oh no, <laughs> it's not. <stopped. laughs> oh no, sorry. <laughs> oh, what a shame. Dude, this monkey's really helping us out, huh? He's just monkeying around. Nice. I need to catch it later. Uh, did I get the thing? I think I got the thing. Hopefully I got the thing. He's having a look at this and he's saying, you know what? I could probably build a boat. This looks like a good place to build a boat. We'll make the boat. And look at that. We made the boat. But we need to sleep first. We need to sleep. We need to sleep. Thank God you're here. Or else that, uh, I forget. You know, I don't know if I wanted to say it, but, uh, here we have, like, two nice, like, lighting lamps and one of them's white and the other one's like a pinky red and it makes me feel like superman you know how like as a speedrunner i have such immense powerful strength and i need to have the red sun lamp to uh it's the rain to, to bring me down yeah luckily my god luckily the, the rain didn't uh didn't bamboozle us the rain didn't troll us we even prepared yeah. for it too many was jeff oh actually the people might not know what superman is so you better can you explain what Superman is, just in case anyone doesn't Super get that? Superman is yeah, a DC superhero. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> All right, we're going to be getting some wood. I believe he fought Batman at one point. Superman versus Batman? That doesn't make any sense. Nah. Nah, nah that sounds like a terrible idea for a movie. Yeah. All right, I don't know. That seems like kind of a snidey comment. <laughs> More woods. You can't get enough woods. Have you got woods? Of course you don't, because I'm playing. <laughs> I'm the one that's got woods. Okay. Uh, we are missing an extra one. Please, can you give me some more? No, you can't. You're trolling me. Yeah, apparently in this game, wood and softwoods is the two exact same thing. Two different things. Well, no, but like the game counts it as the same thing. It's kind of weird. I wonder why. All wood is equal. As it should be. Wood equality. Love to see it. We found the jungle, and, and going to the jungle now, we feel like we want to be social. Oh, 
and we want to be clean. Oh. oh my goodness, that was really loud. Oh, he fell down. So that was an earthquake. <laughs> they, they can happen. There, there it is. That, that's the earthquake, RNG. Yeah. He's, he's trolling me. Get up, bro. We can't be sleeping. Okay. Oh, oh, now you have a motive for... Oh, now you want to piss yourself. <laughs> okay. That's fair enough. That's fair enough, man. I'm sorry, Jim and Jeff. All, all his, he, he suddenly remembered all of his needs after yeah. that earthquake. <laughs> oh, God. And there's a shadow on that mountain for some reason. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Sorry, getting a bit excited. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. 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 All right. Uh, I think that's everything. I've got, I've got my shopping list on my phone. Make sure uh, I can see what I'm doing here. Suddenly remembered after the earthquake. Yeah. I need to talk to. I need to talk to people. I know. I need to have a shower. Bloody hell. I need to have fun. Yeah. So uh, the earthquake, it's just a bit of RNG. It basically means like um, you lose like 10 seconds to that animation, and then also like they fall down, and uh, they have to really think about what happens post earthquake. You know, it's like once you finish an earthquake, it's kind of like, well, what's next in my life? Like, what do, what do I want to do now? You know, so I, I get it. it takes I just become aware of the environment around me. It takes a while for Jim and Emma Jeff to really uh, find himself. I tell you, as we sleep, we're getting more hungry. We're getting more full of poop. We eat food. Yeah. There's been, um, like, uh, the guy who runs this game, uh, Zero Man, uh, he's, like, grinded this game for, like, years and years and years and, like, mastered it. And my only contribution, like, this is all his hard work and a guy from Huck's me. My only contribution is that, like, rather than eating seven clams, I was like, why don't we just eat six? And you think, oh, yeah, that saves time. But the issue is that oh, I'm sorry, we're gonna lose the music in a second. Oh, sorry, guys. This makes but, it a bit tighter. But uh, yeah, it makes it, it, it really improves on the time. But the thing is, the less you eat, the less poop you generate, and that can be an issue for the routing because you want to be able to poop at a, like a a good poop in time. We're gonna be eating the rest of our clams. Just gonna eat a bunch of clam meat. As you do. Eat a bunch of clam meat. I, sh I should probably talk about the monkeys because uh, we could have glossed over them, and they're such a uh, an, Im an integral part of this game. But speedrun wise, there is two ways you can beat the game. Hello? You wanna maybe? Uh, maybe you wanna go up the uh, before you poop yourself? You wanna come on? Up we go. Hello. Up we go. Explore. There we go. Oh, thank God. Yeah, so there's uh, two ways to beat the game. One is that you uh, fix the radio and you SOS for help. Another one is called the <gasps> boats percent, where you... Uh, let me just make sure I grab the hieroglyph over here. Very nice. One is you make boats and you actually like just make such a big, a big bloody boat that you one can... One uh, big boat. One big boat. Uh, we're going. We're getting stuck on all the foliage. We're gonna. We're wanting over here to so the hot clay, harvesting clay. Uh, everything we do is for material. Otherwise, it's not. It's for a skill. And right now, clay. I'm pretty sure clay's the only one. But yeah, for clay, we're gonna get some extra goodies. <laughs> and there's another monkey there. There's another monkey. I'm talking about the monkeys. I gotta talk about them. I mean, do you know? Do you know much about the monkeys before I, I talk I know, about it? I know monkeys increase your sim's social needs. They do, yeah. You start to learn um, some, some monkeyish, I guess. Um, but nah. Uh, so either you beat the game SOS, or you beat it with boats, or there's another category that's like all goals, where you like just you have like um, in here. Oh, he's pooping. Oh, thank God. Oh, a, a successful poop. That's more like it. It puts the P in PB. <laughs> Poopy. Okay, we have enough stuff, and it could rain here. It could rain here. We're gonna we're gonna cross our fingers, cross our toes, that it does not rain. And uh, it probably won't happen. We blessed the game, Zara. We blessed the game. All right, enough stretching. Come on, we gotta sleep. So the monkeys. I'll tell you what the monkeys do. What was I talking about? You were talking about the monkeys. Oh, of course, the monkeys. So you have all goals where you have like a bunch of challenges that you set yourself. You want to do some things. And one of them is that you have to become friends with the monkey. And the monkey, you give him a coconut, and there's like a drop table of what he can give you in return. And so uh, you could uh, do like most of the game in 
in like an hour 20. And in the next 20 minutes, it's just giving Monkey repetitive, repetitive coconuts and like hoping that he will, uh, <laughs> he will return you the item that you need to like finish the game. So it's, you can get some bad up. Like, you know how to climb. Don't give me the shrugging shoulders. That's more like it. I don't know, my pathing is broken. Shit, my name is Jeff. Shit, my name is Jeff Jr. I'm up to no good. Alright. We are going to get another um, hieroglyph of Ah Kyong. You know, you can really tell that Jim and Jeff Jr. is a gamer because even though he really wants to shower, he doesn't need to shower for the run. So, yeah, he, he, must, be, he must be a Smash player. <laughs> Mixed response. Sick man. <laughs> We will see if we need to cut some vines. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I can see our friendly vines. neighborhood host is not too impressed with that. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Slice and use. It's more surprised. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, I, I showered this week. I'm good. Uh, so <laughs> we have all the radio pieces we need now. We're just collecting the hieroglyph pieces. We're gonna be going through and making. What's what's very important to a gamer? A shower. What have I just said? <laughs> What's important to me is his bed. Is his bed. We need to get his bed. So we're gonna be crafting a bed so that uh, when we when we sleep on the sleeping mat, like it charges our bar but not enough for this like final boat ride across. That's right, a bed. Okay. So we shall head There's into a the volcano plans. over there in the distance. Oh, you see that? I, I, got I, th I think the game wants us to go there. I hope it doesn't go off. If it does, that's bad. Uh, I'm being trolled. <laughs> I think you are being trolled. What do I have to do? Maybe I gotta look over here for a minute and go, hmm. Can we craft a canoe? I don't know, can we? No, we need to make the rope. Yeah, I've made a rope, yeah. I'm being trolled. Why? I gotta make a bed. I literally just said I literally said I have to make a bed, and I'm making the. <laughs> All right, sorry guys. A little lost in the sauce there. All right, uh, can we rotate it? Yes, yes we, we can. can. And we will craft the bed. No, yeah, we want to craft you. Okay. This game's there got a go. great soundtrack. Well, I, I want to waste time just on it. Just, just, just five seconds. It's only a five-second time loss. It's worth it. <laughs> All right. It's worth it for the music. Now that we've made the beds. Maybe we've got to build it? I don't know why. Now it comes. All right. Sorry, guys. Now we can make it. We've made a bed. And now we can make the crafting table. Another crafting table. Yes. Another crafting table. Simply huge. And we're going to be using this to take the sisal that we made earlier, or collected earlier, we're going to make some rope. Uh, now would be a uh, kind of cool time for donations. Awesome, we do. We have a $10 donation from Sino that says, This game is the best worst game I've ever seen. And we also have a massive $140 donation wow. from our very own Tiny Tim Why? saying, Hey all, looking forward to another amazing event. Here is to all the amazing people that make this event possible. Thank you again for raising money for a fantastic cause. Cheers. Hell yeah. We've we got some time for some more, if there's any. Uh, we don't have any more at the moment, but this is a perfect time to let you know that Tim's donation there went towards the Sonic Frontiers True Boss Incentive. Now, that is our first incentive that is coming up in about, I want to say, four or five hours-ish. So you're going to want to try and get your donations in for that, as well as some of our amazing prizes that you can see being rotated just above the logo on the screen there beside the game the timer. Yeah, point right in there. Yeah. I'm pointing at this flag. I should be pointing this way. Nicely done. Oh, it's just, it's just my name up there. It's just your name. Did you know? Did you know they were gonna do it? It was, it was there for the last one. Oh, was it? Oh, nice. Dude, no rain. Uh, I was gonna say that. Yeah. So if it rains, we're gonna wake up. Don't jinx it. Ah, uh, uh, the clouds. 
Okay, 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 okay. Oh, I forgot to make the oh, I forgot to make the canoe before I slept. Don't worry, it probably saves time anyway. Oh, we have to. I just oh, just another five minutes. Just another five minutes. I forgot. Okay, now we're ready. Yeah, it's kind of a. Oh my god, I almost forgot. Again. I've got to go into grab and I gotta bring the uh, crafting bench with me. So I want to delete it, but add to inventory. God, thank God you're here to. Uh, yeah, ima imagine, imagine not. Imagine not bringing. Then we can, then, then we can make the key to finish the game. Then we, then we would have to build another crafting bench. We'd have to. <laughs> with what materials? I'm not too sure. Just improvise. All right. Imagine it doesn't. Imagine it doesn't rain. Craft a table out thinner. Yeah. See, there's some lore going on. Okay. And I'm going to sleep. And you'll find the first place that you can sleep on. Could imagine it rain. Right over those rocks. What are those statues there? Yeah, so this game's got a weird obsession with llamas, but I think like it expands more in, in the Sims verse. Um, llamas are a deity in the Sims universe. It seems so. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. They're mentioned in every game, including the first installation. Hell yeah. The very first Sims game, mind you. You know, for the original Sims game, my favorite, like, it's like one of my favorite soundtracks. Like, if I'm ever in a bad mood, I put on, like, the buy menu music from The Sims 1, and it just totally changes my mood. Whenever I played Simpsons Hit and Run 100%, I put on The Sims 1 soundtrack during coin grinding. Hell yeah. Since it's, like, 20 minutes of it. 20 minutes? 20, 20 minutes, up to 20 minutes of coin grinding. Yeah, stick on The Sims 1 soundtrack. Is that when you're like Lisa and you're smashing the vending machines? That's when you're in part two and you're smashing the vending machines. Oh, part two, okay. I'm gonna make sure I get this guy. Okay, we're looking good for hieroglyphs. I was a little bit worried. I, I think we're good on hieroglyphs. Oh, you can't uh, fall down. Jim, my name is Jeff Jr., up to no good. <laughs> for some reason, yeah, when you zoom all the way out, like, your character moves faster. Which also helps because then it can, you can see better with the camera. See more, less lag. See more bugs. What, 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 what's the issue there? It's none. That's, a, that's just all benefit. Okay, this is the last, well, this is the last place it could rain. So we are going to go over here. Get the last piece, luckily right next to the door. It's like, <gasps> now you can do something cool. Let's do something cool then. Let's head into the inventory. Let us grab, I wonder where it is. Uh, over here, over there. <gasps> That'll do. The crafting bench. The crafting bench. Mm, yes. Mm, yes, I'm going to do a bit of crafting. What are you doing this weekend? Just crafting. I'm playing Minecraft Zero. <laughs> Minecraft Zero. By Hideo Kojima. <laughs> and it's some reason it's in the leisure plans. And we make the ancient steel Oh. Okay, now we do a little sleep. A little sleep, sleep. Now I could, um, now I could do something with that uh, thing we just made, but we gotta sleep first. Yeah. Because Jim and Jeff is tired. Jim and Jeff Jr. He's one sleepy boy. He's also, uh, he's also, uh, fu his fun is also deteriorating, but that's not a problem. His, well, I mean, he's about to be rescued in a minute. He goes, yeah, you know what? This goes here. And lo and behold, we are entering, entering the temple, the temple of Lama. You must be in Peru. Okay, very important stage. We're gonna enter this temple, and we're gonna sleep. Actually, do you wanna, can you hold? Can you hold as the C button? I'll hold. I'll hold the hold, C. Hold the C button. Oh, oh look, guys, it's a cop run. Whee! <laughs> oh. Thanks very much. You're really, you're really good at this game. <laughs> okay, so we've slept. Our hunger is getting dangerously low, but we will ascend up to the final part. Isn't there like a fixed earthquake? I don't remember. There, it, no, it's it's just luck. It's just luck. Oh. Two earthquakes in a row? That wouldn't happen, <laughs> right? We will head into our inventory. We're at the top of the volcano. It's getting pretty hot and steamy. We will get the airplane radio. We'll pop it down. Somewhere nice. That'll do. We'll head over. Time is almost coming up. 
What do you, what? Don't troll me, bro. Repair the transmitter. Don't. Nah. Nah, come on. Okay, he doesn't like this position. That's okay. I'm not nervous. You're nervous. We'll put it down again for him. Just put it down in a more convenient place where he won't. Oh, not over there. Whoa. 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 <laughs> you can see you're the not, entire map. You're not going to reach it from there, dude. Let's do it here. Same place. Did I just put it in the same place? Yeah, it might it might work. Oh, God, who knows? Jim and Emma Jeff. I can't put it back in. Oh, I gotta grab it and then. All right. Look, guys. We're almost. Oh, thank God! All right. There we go. Time is coming up when this animation ends. So. Ta da! A little bit of trolling at the end. Oh, Captain, Captain, uh, there's somebody SOSing. Uh, send this entire cruise ship to some stupid island. We gotta go. They'll send a cruise ship it, instead of a rescue boat. Jiminy Jiff. Jif. <laughs> so there we go. He uh, he boards. This is a nice uh, nice PNG. That's Jiminy Jiff. Jif. This is Jiminy Jiff Jif back in the, back in the back in his neighborhood. And uh, oh, he's got a lot of bills to pay. Oh. Maybe uh, we have to do actually return to Monkey. It's, it seems like it's kind of a pretty good point here. Do we want to return to Do we want to save our game? No, we want to no, see the credits and we're done. There we go. Uh, oh, I know. Two rounds of applause. I'm being really greedy. But thank you very much. Um, so, yeah. Falco, thanks for uh, sliding into my DMs. You're welcome. And uh, sitting with me through it. Um, big, uh, big shout out to UKSG. Um, first like event that I ever went to was in August. And... Um, I, you know, I was a little bit nervous about it, but almost everyone I came across could smell. They could detect I was nervous, and they were so nice and so lovely, and inspired me to come to UKSG Red and and run uh, not just this game, but another game. Oh, we'll get to that in a minute. Echo but the Dolphin. Echo the Dolphin. You don't want to miss that. But uh, thanks very much, and yeah, we'll pass it over to Argic. Ta very much for that. There you go. How is that for a run? And you said it was the best worst game you've ever seen, but we challenge you to keep watching. As coming up next, we have Hypnotix going to be playing Unearthed, the trial of Imbaduta. I can't say that name. I'll get heavy to pronounce it later. So, see you soon, everybody.